We want to put the highlight on East Kentwood High School. I went inside the school this week. You guys, there is a classroom that is more like a zoo. Take a look. You know, when you say snakes in Kentwood, they usually go, oh, I know where that's at, or I know whose room those are in. Hi, Brad. This one's Dizzy. This is Mellow. Inside Mr. Warfield's science class. Oh, my goodness. Books are taking a back seat to ball pythons. I've always had a really big love for snakes. I mean, I was a bit scared when I came here first, but um, I've gotten a lot more used to it. You better get comfortable because you'll be studying, learning, and working among snakes, spiders, Spiders and lizards. Oh my! We do a lot of research, and I've been um, in this classroom for about two years. So I'm a leader here, so we take care of everything in this classroom. I love science, but the hands-on piece with the kids is just something that it's the classroom I always wanted to have. Carl Warfield has been teaching for 23 years, and all this started about 20 years ago with two animals, and now I did not envision this growing to this, but it was just a way to say, hey, you know, science is alive. So and then very much alive and in need of care and feeding. What's for dinner? That falls to the students who know they have something special inside room 216. And I got to take him home and raise him as my own. I got to hand feed him, hand train him. So I'm kind of like his mom, everyone calls me. Mr. Warfield knows that hands-on learning works and the district is on board supporting him. Well, it makes it easy to teach when there's something alive and you say, this is why this happens. Well, we've been highlighting the really cool things that happen here in Kentwood all day long, including this morning on Daybreak, the Challenge Days program that students here at East Kentwood go through. You can see that story right now at woodtv.com. And it was East Kentwood that won our Play of the Week vote back in Week 2. This morning on Daybreak, quarterback Christian Turner and wide receiver Colton Emiat showed us what it takes to make that toe-touch catch. They even tried to teach it to our own Casey Jones. You want to see that? Well, we have that for you at woodtv.com as well.